Okay then guys, today we are here with the Tree Sentinel in Elden Ring. Now this is essentially the first mini boss that you are going to come across and he is not mini to say the least. He is on a giant horse with gold plated armor and is this, well he's pretty pretty freaking solid to say the least depending on what class it is that you went for. Now I'm actually doing this on the prisoner which means I've got a, a bit of a pokey pokey sword rather than a slashy slashy or a hammer down sort of thing. But so it makes this a little bit harder which is why we decided to do the method on horseback what I did to begin with is obviously because I've been in this a little while and I didn't want to go straight in to take him out I wanted to obviously grow my levels and get some summons and stuff like that first I actually took the wolves as a way to sort of keep them occupied at points so I could utilize my healing abilities but the way that the attack in motion actually works is kind of interesting and I like to call this the flower method the reason I call this the flower method is because on your horse you are going to be wanting to go in and out and imagine if you had a trail around you'd be generating almost a flower around him because you are going to be using this as a circle motion at the beginning you have two phases the first phase is going to be solely the halberd that he is swinging around now you do have to be careful and notice what the trends are with this and they are there 100 percent Nine times out of ten, the Hellbound will sit on the side of the mount. What this means is that he is going for a swing, and if it is straight up in the air, it means that he is going to hammer down. There are things that you want to look out for that you are going to use your horse to turn around and take him out. So once he starts to charge and he starts heading towards you and starts charging forward, you are going to want to run away from him. It is not on a motion sensor. He will not swing when he gets close to you. He swings almost like on a timer basis. So he will swing at any given point the moment you see him start to swing you want to quickly hit a u-turn and head back towards him that's going to throw him off quite a bit and means that he starts to sort of like strut his horse around to try and find out where you are that's when you go in for the move this is going to take a couple of minutes to get the first motion done making sure that you avoid all slices possible and after most of the moves you are able to go in and get a hit on him. Once you've done that you go through to the second phase and this is where the shield gets put into place quite a bit. The shield is actually the easiest part of this mainly because it's not as long, it's not as effective and you have to be quite close for him to actually get you. So what you're looking for is you are going to be looking for when the horse is mainly like up in the air or it's on two feet that's when you know that that's going to be your motion to move forward forward still implementing the factor of every time he generally attacks you want to zoom in and out using that flower method now when the shield goes down he is going to have quite a high animation the animation on it is actually really really long so this is going to be where you get majority of your swipes off so if you are playing this as a samurai or something like that you are going to get more swipes on this dude than anything else with the prisoner I have challenged myself a little bit by taking this class. It is probably one of the, the more difficult classes to run and it was probably not really good because I am a beginner to Souls games and it was probably a bit of a mistake actually using one of the more challenging classes for it. But with this Pokin sword, it doesn't do as much damage. If you are doing something like the Vagabond, the Vagabond is going to have a higher impact with a Halberd and is going to take less hits to do. But you can see that as he jumps up into the air, the motion from when the shield hits the floor is going to be quite long that's when you want to strike the most now obviously the way that I've done this is with my healing potions I put everything into my healing potions even though I do use magic quite a bit this is not really the place for it there is a bit of a cheese which is working at the moment and I'll leave the link down to that in the description if you are sort of like a mage mage main or maybe an arch main you have got all the abilities to be able to stand at a distance there is a spot so i will leave that link in the description but if you guys are going soul sword then you are going to want to make sure that you're waiting for the animations of a swipe and then you turning on him to throw him off and hitting around the back of him that's going to be how this gets done really easily and that's just my main method of doing this on a horseback hopefully it's helped you out i know it's a little bit sporadic but i will get used to explaining these thanks again for watching i'll see you in the clouds